At the 21st edition of the Colombo Fashion Week, we will be privileged to witness the creations of Asanka Dimel, who is the designer and founder of Loi, who also aims to bring in the authentic and unique fashion identity which has been rooted within the Sri Lankan culture. Hi Asanka, it's a pleasure to be speaking to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Dumindra. Thank you for having us. Me. The yeah. pleasure is all ours. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're too kind. Too kind. <laughs> Asanka, speaking about the Colombo Fashion Week, it is coming up. What is it like? How are the preparations going? <laughs> it is seven days to go. It's chaos. <laughs> no, I mean our collection is in very much in good order, but you know you never end. You know you you can always innovate. You can always improve. So till the till almost like the afternoon of the show, we are still putting one more bead or one more stitch or you know just it's just the nervousness uh, you know after five six years of doing this, I'm very very nervous because each collection is has its own excitement and own challenges to work with, especially as we are introducing new techniques, new fabrics. So always learning about uh, a lot of new. Yeah. So uh, it just makes it exciting and also we wanted to present to you know our audience and our fans something new, uh, something beautiful that they deserve. Uh, so we are putting all our effort into it. Well, lovely Asanka. <laughs> Asanka, speaking about how it's been about five to six years yeah. within Colombo Fashion Week, collaborating with Colombo Fashion Week. Could you tell us a little bit about the journey and what the journey has been like, how the brand has evolved yeah. with the Colombo Fashion Week? Well, it's an amazing platform. I must thank RJ Fasin and the whole Colombo Fashion Week team to putting on year after year uh, multiple shows, providing us a platform at a very high level of sophistication. So that allows us to focus on the clothes and the building of our own identity, you know, and so the platform is available and we have to focus and year after year also to improve our thing. And uh, regularly I get to talk to Ajay and Fasina and get their guidance because they are also seeing uh, much across um, in Sri Lanka and yeah, now in India and across, you know, through the Commonwealth also they're seeing a lot of other designers what the techniques uh, what's working what's not working so all of these actually helps us really to mature uh, at a faster rate so and improve our own sophistication yeah definitely and speaking about acceptance recognition uh, if we talk a little bit about the consumers how do you think the consumers are accepting it do you feel like it has increased the footprint or the brand footprint in the retail market as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have grown over the last six years uh, uh, and the name recognition has also uh, grown quite rapidly. And any new product, this is a relatively new concept to take Sri Lankan traditional clothing and even rooted in sarongs and red the hat and to make it to high fashion or to even aspire to make it to high fashion. It's a dream. So, and like any dream, it takes time to realize and the more we work, the, the luckier we get. So in that way, uh, you know, we see a, a tremendous growth and you know, the, this is a manifestation of that growth and also a manifestation of our identity and what we believe Sri Lanka could be, you know. We want to sell uh, sarongs in a place like this at the iconic Golf Face Hotel to, because it's, it's a way of honoring our own culture, our own society. Right? So uh, that I feel very privileged to be able to do that. Definitely. And Asanka, speaking of how, you know, it's been a privilege to be able to do that. Speaking of that, how do you feel <coughs> that, because there is a responsible meter as yeah. well that's involved, how do you believe the brand also aligns with the responsible meter? So just to, for the, your audience even to say what the responsible meter is, one of the key uh, requirements in Colombo Fashion Week is that uh, year after year you need to improve on the sustainability of your uh, offering. 
So if you have a collection five years ago versus today, it's more, you know, in, you're adding more sustainable fabrics, sustainable techniques, so environmentally more conscious. Just the fact that we have to think through that is uh, pushing us to continually uh, work. And for Lovi, a uh, large part of the fa fabric that we actually produce and sell is cotton uh, and linen, uh, silks, all natural fabrics. So because they are natural fabrics, they decompose very quickly and allow environmentally a much smaller footprint than some of the use of heavy polyester and other products. Okay, well, wonderful. And also, Asanka, speaking about identity, because I know you spoke about identity and Sri Lankan identity being brought in here. How would you say that the Sri Lankan identity has evolved because I believe 10 years back, it was very much different. Yeah. How, how would you describe that involvement and also how do you think it would continue to evolve in the future in the next few years? Linda, that's a great question. I mean, our aspiration is to see a fully developed Sri Lanka. And in order for that to happen, uh, especially the young people, uh, actually, in fact, everybody needs to believe that it could happen. And in that kind of a society, what would be, what do we value? We value hard work, we value ambition, we value innovation, we value multiculturalism, we value creativity. So these are aspects that we are actually representing through clothing. And this is the story of Lovi. It's a uh, it's, it's what we are trying to do and, and we are very grateful for all the people out there who are actually joining us in that and they also feel that spirit in them, uh, authentic you know, ambition about how beautiful a place this Sri Lanka can be. So when they are, you know, essentially they are buying into that idea to represent and you know, project that idea with us. Wonderful, Asanka, <laughs> thank you so much for speaking to us. It's been very inspiring. All the very best for the Colombo Fashion Week, the 21st edition of CFW. Thank you so much and all the very best to you. Thank, thank you. you for having me.